into Kenya. 40 million people there. 14 million people in Kenya have a mobile payment solution. Uh, who's now the stupid one? Um, and they don't need to have everything. The most simple, stupid feature phone is enough. They do it based on text messages. And the great thing is like, because it's a developing country, um, many people don't have bank accounts. They don't need a bank account for their mobile payment solution. Very smart approach. So how do you get people money? Um, they send it via text message to another person, and believe me, in places where you would never imagine that something like this could be, you find this, the M-Pesa agent. Pesa is Swahili, and it means simply money. And that enables people in the middle of nowhere to send money to other people or get money. Cool. I live in the top 10 richest countries in the world. I cannot pay except for parking. But it's a fair point. Um, <laughs> after the safari, we went to the hotel, and I spoke to this guy. That, um, from him, I learned, and I read it later, that only 700,000 people in Kenya have a health insurance as we know it, which means 39 million don't have health insurance. Um, and when we spoke about it, he said, like, yeah, yeah, they have it, because um, he can always save money and send it to a virtual account. And that virtual account can be used for everybody. So his sister can use it, his little sister, his mom can use it, his grandpa, and he can go to a hospital, which is, of course, subsidized, but he gets medical treatment there. Um, and when his little sister needs something for school, he can order it. He orders it in shops which don't even have electricity. But the shop owners with my orders can set up virtual stores where other people can order stuff and tell that they will pick it up at half past five when they are going home. And it's obvious because nobody wants to queue up. Three outstanding women who created a solution called M-Farm, which allows, again, based on mobile phones, that farmers learn at which market their crops are needed and which price they will get. And if they want to sell to a bigger company, they can do group buying or group selling, based on mobile phones. Hili Mosalama, for example, puts up this once a farmer signs up through a mobile phone for an insurance for his crops. Now, again, this is in the middle of nowhere. There is no electricity, but it doesn't matter because it's solar-powered. The company comes, puts up the solar-powered station, which measures the soil, the weather, the rain, and everything. And if it's too dry, guess what? He gets an automatic payment on his mobile phone from this insurance company. Believe it or not, in five years, it could be possible that we need to go to Kenya and ask them for consultation on mobile solutions.